Hey everyone, Trudy Swan. I am doing exercise 5-7. In this problem, they have given us some financial information and they're missing some of that information. First instructions is to fill in the amount. As you can see, we have some equations here. So first off is the net sales equals sales revenue minus the sales return allowance. So for the Yost company, we're going to equal this to their revenue, sales, their sales revenue, and we're going to minus it. So you can get the correct answer from the net sales that they've already provided for us, which would equal $6,000 of sales return and allowance. The Yoast company, we have to do a little bit more algebra. In order to find this missing information, we're going to equal it to their net sales, but we're going to add it to their sales return allowance so that we can get the $100,000 answer. So that equals $105,000. The next one is our prof gross profits equals net sales minus cost of goods sold. So the O's company is pretty explanatory here. We're going to equal this to their net sales. And we're going to subtract it to their cost of goods sold, which gives us the answer of $26,000. The new company, we're going to equal it to their net sales. And we're going to minus it from their gross profit, that information already provided for us, which gives us $60,000. We all know that $100,000 minus sixty dollars would equal $40,000. Next, we have the net income. Net income equals the gross profit minus operating expense. So the Yost company, we're going to equal it to the gross profits. We're going to minus gross profits from operating expense, which will give us our net income of 11620 Now for the Newton Company, we're going to equal this to their gross profit, subtract the net income information that was provided for us, which gives us $23,000. The next problem is to calculate the profit margins and the gross profit rate for each company. So here's the equations that we're going to use for their gross prof their pro mar profit margins and their gross profit rate. Net income divided by net sales will equal profit margin. So for the Yost company, we're going to take their net income, which was 11620 and we're going to divide that by their net sales, which was equal to $84,000. And that gives us our total amount of 14%. Now their gross profit rate. Gross profit rate is equal to gross profit divided by net sales. So the gross profit of the Yost company was $26,000. We're going to divide that by their net sales, which was $84,000, which gives us the gross profit rate of 31%. Now for the Noon Company, their net income was a total of 17000 And their net sales was equal to 100000 which gives us the total of 17%. And then for their pro gross profit rate, we're going to take their gross profit, which was 40000 and we're going to divide that by their net sales, which was equal to 100,000. Which gives us the answer of 40%. And you always want to make sure on these margins and rates that you change that decimal into a percent. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it works. Thanks.